Margaret awoke, startled, a cold sweat clinging to her. She gathered her thoughts. Aged wood creaked, echoing through the quiet rooms. Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana, goddess and daughter of the land, of Rhea and a being of comfort. Margaret sought answers. But the goddess did not speak. There was only the faint whisper of something dark, something hungry. The old seer's bones felt the weight of their age as she climbed. The only thought on her mind, has it begun again? John's mission would be a simple one. He was to investigate Rhea's greatest shrine. His mother presented him with a fresh divinity shard. From his brother came a newly sharpened sword. His wife gave him a kiss, and his daughter's hugs were full of reason to return home safe. Rhea, a land long forgotten, a place of unimaginable beauty. First appeared as sludge given life, slithering creatures, small and vile.
wall, impeding further progress. A battle was certain. itself. The corruption abated, leaving the shard cold in hand, dark in need of life.